there is another bear out here. Uh, and a jaguar and another pig. Free bacon delivery. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to start moving towards our new base location uh, First thing I want to say though is that I found out That the reason why we cannot get out of Ring Lake is because We need to do a mission and I believe it's called the Zephyr mission or so something Zephyr to Axe to basically unlock this region um, So that is why this was all blocked off and we couldn't get out of here um, and that's fine. Um, I, I'm actually okay with that. So at some point, we will uh, need to do the Zephyr mission. And I don't even necessarily need to do it on this character. I could do it on my level 50 character, I think. Um, you know, to unlock uh, the passage here so we can actually get out of here and, you know, check out the rest of the map. So now that we know, you know, what we can do to get out of here that's um you know we will work on that eventually but uh we want to stay here uh, or i want to stay here for a while longer especially now that we found this really cool new base location and you know get get the base built get geared up uh maybe even get all the way to tier four you know before we worry about leaving the area you know at some point we're going to exhaust all the ores in the area but you know we on the other hand if we can find deposits surface deposits for everything we need we, we, that could still sustain sustain us potentially but that doesn't really matter because again i don't want to stay here forever anyway okay one other thing if you guys did tell me that in the comments from the last video uh i haven't seen those comments yet i'm recording some of these videos back to back so i appreciate uh, you definitely telling me but i haven't seen it yet so that's why i'm mentioning it right now okay we got a bear over there i wonder if we can get his attention we got his attention Let's get inside. We got a Jaguar too. They like to come at the same time. Oh, two Jaguars. Yeah, you guys just stay right in the doorway there. He made it through. He did, right? Yeah. Alright, just the bar now. And he's dead too. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that got us a few points uh, towards level 20. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, I haven't seen your comments from the last video because I am recording several of these back to back. Uh, one reason for that, well, Honestly, the main reason is because I'm just having such a good time doing it, but also I'm going to be gone the third week in January uh, for about a week on a business trip. So I need to try and get some of these episodes pre-recorded anyway. Uh, so that's kind of a, also a reason. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I made uh, a stack of the Deadly Three arrows. So we have those. Um... And it looks like we, some of them broke because I had a, a total of 50 to start with, but that's just the way it works, I suppose. And uh, we got some fatty T-bone. Nice. Okay, so let's take and put that in here and get it cooking. And I'm going to need some wood. We need a... We're actually very quite low on wood at the moment. But it doesn't matter because we're about ready to, to leave this place. Uh, no. Don't cook that. Cook the fatty T-bone. All right, cool. And <coughs> let's see here. We'll put this uh, regular meat in here for more animal fat. You guys are back already, huh? Of course you are. Oh! Gowsers. That did not kill him. Oh, look at that. There was... We got both of the arrows back. That's good. 
That's the bad thing about these flint arrows is they have a high break chance. Anyway, um, okay, so oh, we got a a, a bleed effect from the from the jagular. So let's get rid of that. And okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to go into the tech tree, and we are gonna go ahead and learn in tier two the masonry bench which was over here right yeah right here okay we're gonna learn that and we need to start learning uh the stone stuff so we have 12 points here so basically uh, i want the interior wood beams and floors and we're gonna learn all this too but this stuff is not as high a priority at the moment uh, we need the walls and the roof pieces uh the door the ceiling, the half pitches, the stairs, and I think probably the rails. Okay, so that uses up all of our current points, uh, but that should get us started with making our <clears throat> our our stone base. And I I like the stone bases in this game, unless they've changed things. The uh, the concrete and the metal bases, even though they're they're better, you know, they're stronger. Uh, they, they don't look as nice, in my opinion, as the stone bases. And the stone can, you know, withstand anything the weather throws at you. So I prefer to, to do all my bases in stone. Uh, so that's what we're going to do this time. All right. Let's see. We don't have any talents at the moment, so we're good to go there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put down the masonry bench in here because we need to make enough pieces for us to make a small enough shelter uh, to then take everything up there. Uh, to get started uh, both for you know because you have to have the masonry bench under cover and you know we're going to need protection anyways so let's oh i want to i want to kill that pig because we can make crispy bacon and who doesn't like crispy bacon where is he at i heard him over here Let's see if we can attract him by killing the wolf. I thought I heard a pig over here. Okay, let's go up here and just watch for a moment and see if one of them, one comes in. There's something over there, but I can't tell what it is. That might be the pig there. We just can't, we can't really zoom in or at all. Oh, the Komodo's going after our wolf kill. All right, well, let's just see if we can find that, the pig. There's a jaguar. These things are almost a guaranteed bleed, man, when they hit you. Makes sense. They're a wildcat with nasty claws. Okay, let's replenish our <coughs> uh, fish curry and that and that. That fish curry is so amazing, man. It gives us so much health. All right. <clears throat> I may not have heard a pig. I thought that I did, but there's all kinds of sounds that are going on in this game. Oh, that's one of those birds. <clears throat> I'm going to call those birds the footstep birds. <laughs> I don't want to spend a lot of time looking for a pig, but... We don't spot him in the next few seconds. We're gonna just forget about it. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I didn't hear one, or maybe I did and he's long gone. I don't know.
That's a buffalo. That is a bird. Okay, well, anyway, let's go. Let's get at it. Oh, there he is, right there. He just got up over the hill. Razor sharp. Kill 50 creatures with a kniffy. All right. We can make some crispy bacon now. Good stuff. Ooh, we got white meat, too. That's even better. So, hey, you coming to mix it up? Don't mess with me, Moa. Here, I'm getting these bones. You just be cool. All right. Let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a, the masonry bench. And to do that, we need wood and 120 iron nails. So let's grab a stack of ingots here and fill those in there. And then we want to make 12 of these. Okay, and let's go grab some wood. I'm just going to cut the down bogs. Oh, Jaguar. No, no, don't pick the plants. Okay, everybody cool? Uh, I think that's just a Komodo. Okay. We're low on water. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll be enough wood to for us to do what we need to do. Okay, so put this wood in here. Let's take and put the bacon in here. And make crispy bacon. Yes. Yum, yum. Uh, we want to cook the white meat in here. And grab the fatty T-bone. Turn all the normal meat into fat. And let's go down here and get some water. We're going to have to probably kill some more worms, but that's okay. More XP for us. Well, you took your time getting out. There's another bear out here, uh, and a jaguar and another pig. Let's pull the pig over here. Uh, I had to go actually go AFK for a little bit. Free bacon delivery. We didn't even get hurt. Oh, look at that. Ten pieces of raw bacon. Nice. All 
Right, let's make even more crispy bacon. What's better than crispy bacon? Even more crispy bacon. That is such good stuff, man. 10 critical damage, 15% experience gain. I like it. Uh, let's eat this last fish curry. We'll, we'll definitely do some fishing. And uh, stock up on that when the time comes. Okay, so I'm going to put all of that in there. I'll put the worm giblets in here. And let's eat this. And we will eat this. We're going to put the normal bacon in here and the crispy bacon right here. Okay, so let's see. We need to get our nails out of here that we made. And I think we need to make some rope too to finish the masonry bench. Yeah, so I need 12 rope. How many can we make? 12, oh, look at that, 12 rope. How about that? We have more fibers in here, so let's grab a, another stack of those and put them over here. All right, is that bear still out here? There's a jaguar way the heck up there. Oh, look at that shot. No, oh, that's not what I was aiming for. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> nice. We are level 20, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Machining bench. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna leave leave those out those dudes over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the masonry bench. We'll craft that up. And what we want to do now is we want to go to the tech tree. We want to go to tier three and learn the machiny bench. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now this is going to really open up some good stuff for us. We only have three points at the moment, though. Uh, so we're going to want the concrete furnace. Uh, we can do a, an actual canteen now. Cave scanner. Kind of can look at caves within. The, oh, that's new. That wasn't in the game the last time I played. Biofuel radar. Uh, to topographical radar unit powered by biofuel. Nearby local wildlife become a good... Okay, I think... Isn't this the thing we used to find? Biofuel extractor. Oh, yeah. This is the thing we used to find exotics. Right, okay, cool. Uh, recurve bow. You are definitely going to want that. There's just uh, all kinds of good stuff in tier. I love tier three. It's probably my favorite tier, even over tier four in some in some ways. But um, what's really important right here and now is steel. So um, we want to learn steel bloom, which is where is steel bloom? I think it's back this way, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and then I think we actually need the concrete furnace though before we can smelt steel and to do the concrete furnace oh the fishing rod's going to be fun when that's ready we first need to make concrete i'm just trying to think this through because there's kind of a, a progression you have to go through to, to make all this work we can't make the recurve bow until we have steel and aluminum um so i think Cement mixer and concrete furnace. Those are the two things that we absolutely need to do to get going on steel. Okay, let's look at our talents. We have two talent points and one solo point. For the solo point, I think I'm actually going to take pack horse. That gives us 25% weight capacity, which is huge because we're going to be hauling a bunch of stuff to our new location. So this is a very timely time to have that. Animal health bars. Bring a gun to a gunfight. Yeah, see, this is going to make our archery even better, but I think this is more important right at the moment. So let's take pack horse. And then for our normal talents, we have two points we can spend. Uh, let's go back to combat. I, I just want to finish out our archery tree here. 
So that gives us soft spot and this gives us pinning shot. Homing instinct. Fighters will lock on targets. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's. I guess you could look at that as just a, a another accuracy thingy. Wounding shot's probably going to be good to have too. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, I think we need to still stick with our plan though at the moment. Well, no, actually, let's start making the steel bloom itself. So, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to grab one, two, three, four, five stacks of ingots. And we already have the coal in there, and so let's start making the steel bloom. It takes three ingots or six ore to make a steel bloom, so the cost is the same. Um, and we make a total of 33 of those. So let's get those going now. And we still have, you know, a, f a few stacks of iron ingots left for other things that we need it for. And then, uh, oh, actually what we're going to need mostly for that is uh, nails because we need nails to make the the stone stuff so let's use what we currently have in here and turn the rest of that into nails that'll be 260 nails good now i want to put the masonry bench down And we are going to need to load this sucker up with stone, wood, nails, and leather. Which means I've got a bunch of farming to do. Okay. We have lots of leather in here. Um, we'll keep one full stack in there for other things and we'll put the rest in here. We're working on the nails. And yeah, and we're going to need wood too, so. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. I'm going to go outside and start harvesting wood and stone. And see if we can get this bear killed. Actually, let's repair our stuff first. We need to put some more ingots in there. Our axe and our pick's in pretty good shape. So I guess that's all we really need to repair right now. And um, what do we need to make the machining bench? I don't, I don't know if... I don't think I'm going to make this until we get to our base. Just trying to think, if we made it now, what it, what are we going to be able to make out of it right off the bat? Plus, it's going to take a lot of iron, too. Yeah, um... Well, I don't know. I mean, we need to make it sooner or later. But, yeah, I, let's just wait till we, till we get to the new base before we really start getting into Tier 3. In that manner, I probably should have waited on the steel bloom too, but I suppose we could cancel. Uh, no, we can't because it just finished. Okay, so that's all we're going to do on the steel bloom for now. Okay, let's get out of the cave. We got a jaguar up there that we're going to have to eliminate, otherwise he's going to give us a hassle. Oh, he's stuck. Too bad for him, eh? Man, he's a tough son of a gun. Oh, now he's not stuck. We had softened him up pretty good. Okay, so um, I'm going to run up to the lake 
There's a wolf over there. Uh, no, actually, I'm not going to run up to it. I'm, I'm just going to start harvesting a little bit of wood and a lot of bit of stone. So I will bring you guys back in a little while after we have farmed up uh, a bunch of these materials. I'm not going to show this on camera because, you know, you have seen it before. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, I got several stacks of stone in here and some wood and some other stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is, how many of these can we make in total? 21. Um, I think we're going to start with... Let's, let's make six of these right now. And, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to build... A small hut or a smaller yeah a smaller enclosure just enough to get uh, I you know the, the most critical workstations over there um, and then we'll just keep adding to the house you know as we go so I was gonna do a two by two but I think I'm gonna do a two by three just to give us a little bit more room with that okay so that means we're gonna have we're gonna need six Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna need ten walls to enclose this. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna need ten walls. How many can we make? Thirty-one. All right. So let's make ten. And then uh, we'll need to make. Uh, I'm just gonna use uh, stone floors for the ceiling because um, this is gonna be a two-story building anyway. And we'll eventually change those over to the nice, you know, the nice wood floors and ceiling. But for now, uh, we'll just use stone ceilings. We're going to also, I'm sure we're going to probably want, well, no, we shouldn't need any pillars for the initial build, I don't think. Okay, so two more of those. And then we're going to want a, probably, I'm thinking, two ramps. Yeah, so let's make two of those so we have, like, one on each side. And then for the roof pieces, we'll need six floors. Okay, and then over here, we want to make uh, two reinforced doors. So we're going to need uh, 12 ingots and 8 rope. some nails too so it looks like we're gonna need 16 nails pretty low on iron. I probably should have waited on the steel bloom, but it is what it is. We'll be fine. We will be fine. Oh, you know what? We actually have... We have another stack of iron, but we might need to make some more flint arrows with that because they break so easily. Um, okay, here's actually 20 ingots in there. Grab all the ingots and put them back in the furnace just so they're all consolidated. Okay, so yeah, we only have 51 ingots left, iron ingots left. So I might need to go do a little bit of iron mining. We'll see 
if we can get all this done without having to do that. Okay, so I think we have all of our building pieces there. Uh, we need the 16 nails. Here, let's just grab those in order to make... Oh, I, put, I took the ingots back out. All right, so let's make two doors. One and two. Okay. All right, now the next question is, can I carry all of these building pieces? bit over. <clears throat> so the answer is no, we cannot. And not and not move safely across country. Okay, that's fine. What we'll do then is we, we'll take all of the foundations and if we Split this in half and put three of them back. Does that get okay? That gets us there. <clears throat> I don't want to go without any any roof roof at all because you know what if a storm or something comes up. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to haul this stuff over first. Um, I mean, I know I have some other stuff in my inventory that we could we could remove to lighten up a little bit, but I really don't want to be out without, you know, the extra weapons and things like that. I don't think that would be a good idea. All right, so let's put these back in here. Let's get all that repaired. Okay. If I scrap these, do I get any... No, nope, it didn't give me any um, iron ore back. Okay. All right, very good. So what's going to happen now is we're going to uh, wait till daytime, of course. And then I'm going to take this first load over to our new base location, get the foundation set down, and basically get it built. And then we'll have to come back and we'll have to grab the masonry bench and I might end up just making a new crafting bench over there and leaving this one here because I kind of don't want to until we're fully moved out of this cave we need to keep our a crafting bench here but the crafting bench isn't that expensive I mean we can get all the materials to make it over there so we'll make a new crafting bench over there and we have um, we have an extra fire pit that I'll, I'll also take with us And just, you know, kind of start working on moving stuff over there. Um, yeah, all right. So that is pretty much where we are. Oh, no. That doggone lightning's built, burning down our forest. Oh, and there's a critter caught in the fire, too. Is that a, a bear? Yeah, I think that is a bear caught in the fire over there. Oh, we got his attention. Okay. Oh, man. You're super framey. It's because of the fire. You coming over here? Or is he stuck? He, he aggroed on us a little bit. He must have gotten stuck again. Is that him right there? Yep, it sure is. Now he's coming. He's still... 
Why is he just standing there letting the fire burn him? Unless he's stuck again. I don't know. It's too dark for me to tell exactly what's going on there. He's still alive. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna... Sit here for a second. Well, there, actually. Let's go back inside. Uh, we're gonna eat the T-bone. The crispy bacon, it's more bread. I'm gonna have to get some bread going here fairly soon. We drink out of our thingy too. Yeah, it's it's just too too dark for me to tell exactly what's going on out there, and I'm certainly not gonna walk out there. Okay, so here's the plan, guys. I'm going to. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much time we have left on this episode, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. And I will start the next episode um, at the new base location, which is this island here. So we just have to trek up to here. Um, or if we get. Um, you know, or if something camera worthy happens before then like you know if we have to take on a bear head to head kind of thing I'll start the camera at that point probably won't for jaguars because you've seen me kill plenty of jaguars and wolves and all that now so that's that's not that big a deal anymore but <laughs> it was at first but now it's it's not that big deal uh, but taking a bear on head to head still something that makes me a little bit uncomfortable so I'll show you that on camera if it happens otherwise uh, we'll start the next episode and I'll meet you guys over here on the island in the morning and we'll get started uh, with the first part of building our base guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video i was just trying to see if i could pull that bear in here while the camera's still rolling but i can't even see him now and uh anyway yeah so that's it see you next time Bye bye